Diamond Rich Kimberly awoke to a glittering parade through the city streets. It was an open invitation to celebrate the big 5-0 to go. It's this kind of sparkling entertainment which the organizing committee is promoting on the eve of the tournament. This has just been incredible. Uh, since this morning, the energy in the street, uh, the extent to which people came out to celebrate uh, and uh, stall, you can see how uh, Kimberley has really embraced the event. For the big name football stars who were there to offer coaching clinics, it's a sea change in attitude for the host nation. Uh, it's a wonderful day, beautiful day, I mean, uh, with the kids. And uh, I must say that uh, in South Africa, I used to say we're getting ready. But I think uh, what we have to say now, we're waiting for the world to come here. Kimberly's sense of celebration was infectious, as even the president was moved to his feet, learning the disky dance. <laughs> As the province received its first artificial pitch as part of a legacy project, there was acknowledgement of the collective World Cup effort by all South Africans. Celebration for 50 days before kickoff today is culmination of the efforts of more than a decade of hard work and dedication. It's reason to celebrate and the Northern Cape has set the tone. If Kimberley is any indication as to the spirit in South Africa regarding the World Cup, then the stage is well and truly set for what could rank amongst the best World Cups ever hosted. Simon Burke, SABC News, Kimberley.